Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome to December 3rd. We are going to start feeling today, I believe, today, the uh, eclipse energy that is going to be with us for a few days. The eclipse is 12 degrees Sagittarius, Western tropical astrology applying here. And um, I have long been, you know, the biggest proponent probably in tarot land of North Node and South Node and paying attention to that because that is the work you're here to do. That's astrology, right? The work you're here to do, your North Node and South Node. And we've been in the Gemini and Sagittarius axis for the last 18 months, two years, somewhere in there. So this, this um, eclipse that is happening this weekend is definitely about, because Gemini and Sagittarius are about personal truths. It's also about belief systems that you have, things that you have incorporated into your life. Sometimes, sometimes we corp incorporate things that are kind of like unconsciously, um, we are just unconscious about it, right? We just incorporate it into our lives. So what is going to be happening here is an eclipse energy is in alignment with that north and south node as it's moving into uh, north node and Taurus, south node and Scorpio, because it's always in retrograde. We are in alignment with seeing if that um, serves us. What have you learned in the last two years? What doesn't serve you? What does serve you? What belief systems do you have that may be blocking your progress? It's time to walk through this portal of this eclipse and um, either incorporate new learning or get rid of stuff that's blocking you, okay? So that's what's going on for this eclipse in Sagittarius, 12 degrees uh, Sagittarius. If you have any planet at 12 degrees Sagittarius, that is also being activated. So take a look at your birth chart, okay? All right, if you don't know how to do that, class below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see where we go. Far away places, wise leader, protected by angels. So some of you are or have been uh, called in the past two years. I know because I've been doing the readings. <laughs> some of you have really been called to step into those gifts. And, you know, I see some of the comments about like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. So um, for 2022, I'm going to do a lot of start here kinds of videos, uh, videos that talk about, you know, this is the beginning of this information and giving you in, in, a, in a more linear kind of way. I, you know, I mean, we are living in the 3D after all. And if we're going to get to everybody opening up to 5D and uh, Ascension, I feel like we need to do something that's um, bringing them along. So you might be very advanced in this. So if you are, my apologies to you for doing this, but I, I think, you know, it's important to, uh, bring as many people as we can along. So that's what I'm going to do in 2022. You'll see, you'll see. Okay. So you're also going to be seeing right now the 2022 readings, uh, posting those over the weekend. And there you go. All right. Underneath is the three of wands. I'm going to lay it all out first before I talk it through. Emperor, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Star, Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. I see that there's been a little bit of stubbornness here. Underneath, there really does want to be some kind of kumbaya moment, some kind of connection, some kind of, hey, we can work together. Let's talk about it. So someone who might have been a little bit um, overbearing or controlling or something like that, I feel like that person, I just feel like that person, it's a little unconscious for them, right? We're talking about this eclipse portal. And they might see that they've been trying to control stuff. You might see that about yourself. And it's like, oh, wow, I didn't really think that I was doing this, but you're going to see some things likely about yourself and people, you know, others will see them it about themselves if they're open to it, um, that they've been doing things that are still old patterns. It's just been very unconscious. So, you know, holding back and, and you know, it's sort of like a, I got mine kind of a philosophy. 
And the thing is, we're all connected. So, you know, it be it's incumbent upon all of us to um, open our hearts, open our arms to those who may have been closed off, those who may have had belief systems that are now showing themselves to be false. And, you know, there's going to need to be that, um, that kind of connection. Uh, so in your personal life, you may have had somebody in your life that is just really, um, you know, doing things very unconsciously. And I do feel like they show up and go, you know what, I'm so sorry. Okay, page of cups, you're sorry. It's a little bit. <laughs> page of cups. I think they, I think they are awakening this energy this eclipse portal is like awakening them to the energy of what they've been doing you could also feel an awakening moment of like okay this isn't working for me and what have i learned over the past two years you know what have been the lessons like take some time during this new moon to really look at that because um when you're manifesting and becoming who you're becoming wise leader um the my father told me this taught me this he was a very compassionate and um empathetic soul but he didn't take any bullshit either okay those two things can exist in the same person and he used to say to me you know it's sort of like i don't know how i, I can encapsulate this because it was a much longer conversation <laughs> but it was more about like seeing that other people are human too and people make mistakes and stuff like that and even though it might have been really difficult when you were first dealing with them, this could be, you know, a lover, a life partner, um, then this is now about the energy of forgiveness. And I do feel that both of you are learning. You're also doing some healing work, could be, you know, um, healing some, uh, healing your, your chakra or your energy centers, clearing them out, because a lot of our unconscious stuff comes from jammed up. Uh, chakras. So you might want to work on that a little bit. And I do feel like this almost to me, you know, I see this sometimes as like holding back. I'm sorry, four of pentacles. I see it sometimes as holding back, but now I'm, I'm seeing it as kind of like embracing what you have with generosity, embracing what you have with like, I am good enough. This, oh, I'm sorry, the glare is too much here. I, I am good enough. Four of pentacles. I am good enough. And the two of you, these are the two slowest moving nights, but they both mean really well. I like these nights better than the other two nights. Then, oh, sorry, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands move fast. They don't really, you know, have time to listen to anybody work through anything or talk about it. Just like, bam, let's go. But these nights are the nights, and nights are about mess uh or about um movement about change slow it's slow but it's also you know because this has been taking place over the last two years there's this slow movement of awakening this slow awareness and i do think for all the tower moments we talk about on this channel for all of the you know things that immediately occur to us and change in an instant there's two years of or five years or ten years of learning that prepares you for that moment um, there's also two or five or 10 years of jammed upness that require a tower moment to clear it. So we focus on those tower moments, things coming through fast, like this eclipse is like a weekend, right? But it takes time to get into those positions for this energy to either work on you, blow stuff up, open up to you, you know, invite you through the door, whatever, whatever it's doing for you. And it takes time to get there and to and to get into that position so that when the eclipse shows up or when the energy of um, of opening like a tower moment shows up, you know, it's been prepared for in a positive way or a negative way. Right. So I feel like some of you are going to have those epiphanies over the weekend. And it's been about stuff that's been long time in coming. And this is a lovely um, healing moment. Some of you are stepping into your healing gifts and because of the shit you went through here. Okay, so the teachers that I think are the most effective ones are the ones with not just knowledge, not just not just book learning and um, reading and, and listening to other teachers and things like that. That's all important, all good. 
but the ones who've really been through it. They have a depth of awareness about things. So if you're um, working on your own spiritual business and you want to help people overcome something or learn, some, uh, you know, get to the next level on something, having been through it yourself, that's why Chiron and North Node are so important in your birth chart. It shows you the things you've been through and the things to overcome in order to help the rest of us. Like we need you. We need you to help me. I need you to help me figure out why this is triggering me, or I need you to help me figure out what's the thing here, what, you know, because you can shine some light on it that resonates with me. It's not just like, oh, I'm learning from someone who has some really good heart, heart fought knowledge through the avenue of reading and all of that kind of stuff that's all good. But when you go through something, there's a visceral connection with other people that have gone through it too. And that's my, and that, my darling, is your magic. That is the medicine that you put in the world. That is the healing you put into the world. When you overcome something and you've done it and you can do it. And I feel like you're aligning with someone. This is goes back to the twin flame reading I did earlier this week about, you know, the mission is the thing that breaks the stalemate because you both come through. Yeah, got a big spiritual on that one. You both come through something and you're able to um, impart that knowledge to others. This is a spiritual path card, Eight of Cups. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue on with this. I do see Aries and Aquarius. I see Virgo and I see um, Cancer here. So I'm going to take a deeper dive into those zodiac signs, if those are your zodiac signs uh, or the person you're dealing with. This is definitely a relational thing. We learn from each other a lot. We A lot. Okay, Mary Jo, we learn from each other a lot. Yeah, but... It's almost like this is the whole idea about no man is an island. You learn, I believe, and this is just my personal opinion on this, but you do, uh, you might learn better from hard fought experience in this situation. You might have, and you might be, have more credibility, I guess is my point. You have more credibility with other people when you have also done it and learned from it. Okay. Whatever's been happening over the last two years, do your journal assignments. All right. You ready? Do your journaling assignments. Okay. Uh, if you want to continue on with me, the link is below. If you're part of Pathfinders, the rest of the reading starts right 